You want to write that in? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, this, you're absolutely right. Isolate those two measures first. Maybe play those three times in a row. Yes, that's good. Three times correctly, right? So if there's one that you don't do correctly, then just don't count it. Does that sound good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. That's what I do with the, my favorite colors. I know, exactly, exactly. That's the best way to learn how to practice, right? Because the things that you know how to play already, right, that's fine. But then if you can hone in on the parts that are a little more challenging, right, yeah. and make them as easy as the rest of your piece, right, then you become a splendid pianist. Good, good, good. All right, so let's go ahead and look at how about the brass gong. Oh, do you want to play it with the pedal? Can you reach it? Do you want me to reach it? Instead? I can reach it down here. Okay, you want to try it once with the pedal? you brought up the pedal. So good. So good. We do that so that it looks good. It sounds good. Now how about if I pedal for you? And this time when you play this piece, I'd like for you to feel your wrist lifting so that the gong sounds like it's filling the air. Yeah, so just lift your wrist first. So you're pulling the sound out of the piano. Okay. So you could do that. That's nice. else we could do is why don't you hold on to the F down at the bottom and then you'll lift your wrist the exact same time I lift the pedal. The exact same time. Okay. Maybe just play the low F. Let's just do the low F. So your wrist will be straight with your forearm. Two, three, four, and then lift and I'll lift the pedal. Keep your wrist down. One, two, three, and then lift at the end. Can you even hold it all the way to three, four, and then lift on four? Let's try that. You're paddling it. It'll be really nice for you to feel the wrist coming up at the same time as your as your foot. Oh, that's wonderful! My goodness, you definitely need a sticker for that. <laughs>